These barn owl chicks are growing up so fast. They will soon be ready to fledge. So today's ringing day for the young barn owls, nutmeg and thyme. So I'm going to get them uh, down. We're going to put the identification rings on them. I've already checked the parents. Gilfie and Finn are not in the nest. So it's a perfect opportunity to ring the chicks. Right, it's just a case of catching them now. Uh, nutmeg's quite well uh, feathered, so uh, I'm going to see if I can get her first. There we go, that's nutmeg. So she's safely in there. Here's chick number two. Right, so I've got them both safely in this bag and we'll get the uh, rings on as quick as we can. So we've got Jean uh, Thorpe here to help me uh, do the ringing. And uh, we have nutmeg and thyme. Let's do uh, nutmeg first. She's well feathered. Look at that. So we've got a female here. Have a look, Jean. She's a beauty. So we'll put these rings on each time and uh, these are BTO rings, aren't they, Jean? Yep. Right, we're going to do a weigh-in. Let's pop her in. 385. Yep. So that's good weight, isn't it? It is. I always take this opportunity to check to see if they're male or female. Blue sparkles. Ginger collar. Yeah. So we can tell she's a female. We've got these lovely uh, sparkles along the side. Looks like someone's done them with a little bit of pen. And uh, under her wing here as well. And then she's got this lovely uh, ginger collar around her, fringing around her facial disc. Right, on to the next one. So this one, unbelievably, is only three days younger. But look at the difference of this. <laughs> look at that. A little fluffy youth. Yeah. So, sex-wise, it's going to be tricky at this age, isn't it? See uh, our little colours there in these uh, feathers here. We've got coloured frill either, has it? No, nah, could be a boy. Yeah, I think it's a boy. Jean has years of ringing experience, so she can quickly apply the rings, causing as little stress as possible. It's best to ring them at this stage, and the ring will fit their leg for the rest of their life. Brilliant. Right, let's bag it up. Yes, this one's 400, so the younger chick's actually heavier. And I, th I thought that when I was bringing them Did out you? of the nest. Yeah, I thought, this is, this is a heavy little one. So this one's three days younger, so they're, they're about eight weeks old, these chicks now. Uh, and this one's actually three days younger, but uh, weighs 15 grams more. Yeah, it's a little chubby. So, uh, so this is a male, the other one's a female. So females in general are heavier. Uh, but it's not always the case. That's a little beauty, isn't it, that one? <laughs> yeah, so ringing the birds, we can then track them if we see this owl again. They've all got individual numbers on them. Um, so we can hopefully see this owl flying around here and find this unique ring, ring number. And that's the best bit about it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. Magic, though. Right, we'll get them back in the nest. So that's got two more owl chicks rung. Going to get them back up here and into the nest and see how they settle down. Ringing can be a controversial subject, but if done correctly, these birds can be tracked throughout their lifetime. Fortunately, I have nest box cameras and can choose my time to ring wisely to minimize disruption. So the whole process took less than 10 minutes, and you can see the chicks were relatively unfazed. Once the chicks were safely returned to their nest, I checked the cameras and it's not long before they're preening and exploring the nest again.
Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.